and now you live with it literally forever. For the rest of your life. <laughs> wow. That's why. Wow. Do you think those hundred women would really appreciate it, though? I would say 10 of them would Only would probably... 10 would be appreciated. 90 <laughs> other ones are still going to go to Twitter and post men ain't shit. <laughs> <laughs> I really doubt there'd be a lot of doctors like they just killed all the doctors over there. I'm not moving That's to Memphis. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> if I meet him one day, I'm a I'm a ex. Can you read? <laughs> <laughs> in the most innocent voice I'm like, hey. yeah. Have you ever had sex ten times in one day? I won't say that I have. <laughs> <laughs> all right, welcome back. This is and for what? I'm Tommy. Today, we have Memphis rapper Dope. Damn, what's happening? You ready? Yeah. All right, let's do it. You've just become an international sex symbol. Everyone either wants to be you or sleep with you, mm -hmm. but you've been cursed. You either have to have sex 10 times a day to completion or never have sex again. Failing on either one means death. 10 times a day. You're doing 10 times. 10 times. Would you do 10 different partners or like how many... Cause you're you're in it. You can have anybody you want. Might just do increments of fives. You each got to do them twice. Yeah, like, yeah. I, I feel like that's cool. That's so much coordination. That's so much scheduling for your time just to live. But they can be quickies though. Do you have that much control? Cause you're like they can be quickies, but that's like you're acting that's like a, you're that in charge of it. You know what macaroon is, right? Yeah. You just put out. You say you just drink that every day. Drink a whole bunch of water. It, it might come out like that. Have you ever had sex 10 times in one day? I won't say that I have it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Sounds like you figured it out. <laughs> Women are being thrown in a volcano. For every man you sleep with, 100 women will be saved. <laughs> How many men do you sleep with? <laughs> Zero. Zero. I'm sorry. All, all women just getting thrown into the volcano. <laughs> I'm sorry. You could just do one time and then you're done. And you've saved a hundred women and the population can. Do you think those hundred women would really appreciate that though? Cause imagine I do this. I walk up to them. Yeah. I just saved your life. Don't even ask for nothing in return. Just like, yeah, I saved your life. I would say 10 of them would, I'd say about 10%. Only would probably... 10 would be appreciated. But all you need is one. How many, how many women? It's not even about me needing. The 90 <laughs> other ones are still going to go to Twitter and post men ain't shit. <laughs> I just slept with a shop. No, I'm sorry. Take your look with that volcano. I I love women. I just want y'all to know that I love y'all. But I'm, I'm not saving them. I'm not, not saving, saving a them. single one. Not a single one. I'm sorry. I can't. I, All right. No. You have unlimited wealth, mm -hmm. but you've lost the ability to read. And if people find out you can't read, you'll lose everything. How do you go about life without letting people learn you can't read? Remember, you're also very famous. How people have personal assistance, rollers and yeah. assistants and stuff. I just have a personal reader. So I don't read. No. You just make that a thing about you. In fact, I'm wearing it on the shirt. Every mm -hmm. I don't read. I don't read. I don't read at all. That's not professional, though, when you think about it. Personal yeah. reader. Yeah. What if Stevie Wonder can't read? His whole way of getting out of it is just... He couldn't read. Yeah, me. he's like, I can't read. <laughs> so I'm blind. I, I'm blind. <laughs> That's crazy. If I meet him one day, I'm going I'm to ask him. Can you read? <laughs> <laughs> In the most innocent voice, I'm like, hey, yeah. just, I just want to know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. A group of well-armed extremists have you at gunpoint. They need a decision from you. Who will they kill completely in your city? All the teachers or all the doctors? That's crazy. I have I have teacher friends, mm -hmm. but doctors are kind of important too. Yeah. Damn. And there is no way around it. It's no, just no, teachers they, or doctors. There is a way around it. Um, they could just kill you. That's that's bad too. <laughs> <laughs> Who's more important in a sense? You know. Cause teachers, teachers are pretty darn important. They are because they kind of shape your yeah life they're, in the they're kind of they're kind of building the future. And, yeah, but doctors, and doctors are kind of maintaining the present. Yeah, it's sad, but maybe the doctors, and then you just be like, hey, we ain't got no more doctors. You know, come take this class. 
<laughs> you can be a doctor. You're creating jobs. Yeah, at this point. So it's like, I'm, I'm going to have to say doctors. That's crazy, though. And it's only in Memphis. So if the worst come to worst, we can just go to Nashville. Like, hey, we need a lot of y'all to move down here. Like, people are dying. Like, we need y'all down here. I, I highly doubt there'd be a lot of doctors. Like, they just killed all the doctors over there. I'm not moving That's to Memphis. That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> There, there would be, there would be like very few of those people would be like, I see this as an opportunity. They'd be like, but think about a group it. of well armed people can just do that in Memphis. But it I, was only a one time thing. Like <laughs> they might be gone now. Like they might just be like, okay, we, okay. yeah, they've they've gone to another yeah. city. They went to Nashville now. They're just working and y'all need to come down to Memphis. So y'all <laughs> <laughs> say they don't have Move. no there. Exactly, because they're not coming back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You're walking on the street when a man leaps from a parking garage and hits the ground near you. Clutched in his dead hand is $1,908. There is no one around you. Do you take the money? Yeah. Okay. He did, right? He's dead. Oh, sure. You take the money? Yeah. A woman appears, holding a child you're sure hasn't eaten today. Mm -hmm. By the way, the money is now magically locked in your pocket. You can't take it out. The woman sees the dead man and says, this man stole all her money in the world. They stole every cent. So all she had was $1,908. What do you do now? Take it to a restaurant. Let's go, let's go celebrate. Let's go eat. <laughs> I don't know where your money went. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to go celebrate. You're going to go eat. So this is, this is what's happening. Yeah. You've seen a man plummet to his death. Mm -hmm. He had $1,908. You take that money. You put it in your pocket. Mm -hmm. She's like, oh, my gosh, this man just stole my money. And then you say, let's go celebrate. <laughs> yes, because, okay, so boom, we go celebrate. We go she's eat. like, where's my money? Because honestly, her kid needs to eat first. That's the priority. Mm -hmm. We go get some food. And when you think about it, I can just go to my bank account, take out the exact same amount of money, okay, give it to her, mm -hmm. and then go put that put it back. So yeah. it's like a good deed at the end of the day. Okay. And there's one less thief around because he's dead. So that's why we're celebrating the dude that's all your money died. Yeah. Like <laughs> he's out of here. And we just fixed your baby. So we cool. Have you ever read the book Ender's Game? Mm -mm. Okay, this is this is a little bit like Ender's Game. Okay, but okay. Mm -hmm. You're supremely good at the hardest video game ever made. Mm -hmm. You're actually the best at it. If you beat the game, there's a million dollar prize waiting on you. But you discover the video game is real and the aliens you're killing it on it are also real. They're peaceful and eventually will come to Earth and improve human life exponentially. But this visit is hundreds of years in the future. Do you finish the game where you eradicate that whole species or do you put the game down? I ain't gonna be that guy. I ain't gonna kill him. I'll put the game down. What if it's $10 million? $10 million. I feel like money can't buy it. Like it, ha it would have to be something like. But so, if you had immortality, you would do it. Possibly. <laughs> here's here's the best part about that. You won't take ten million dollars, but if the if beating the game gave you immortality, then you eradicate a species, and now you live with it literally forever, For the rest of your life. <laughs> wow, that's what. Wow. So you would take immortality no, and live with that. I wouldn't even take immortality. It would have to be what types of aliens are these? Like what they look like? Are they like bug people? Are they they, they people? look they look horrible and scary. In the game, they look ter they look very evil. Are they like them ter I don't know if you But they're them. not evil. They're not evil. They just look evil. They just look evil. So they going to come to Earth and eventually like scare everybody anyway. They... You know what? I would say they would scare the ignorant people. Yeah. Yeah. That's not able to get past the physical yeah. picture. Mm -hmm. I'll probably scare people.